Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's session, we will discuss about watermark in RDLC report. So in this session, we will discuss how to add a watermark and how to create an image for watermark. Okay. So I will suggest you have to watch previous video if you want to continue this video. Because in previous video, we have discussed how to get the data from the SQL server to bind to RDLC report and how to attach RDLC report to report view. So we have discussed in previous video, so you have to watch previous video to continuation for this. Okay. So this is the report we are going to show on the RDLC report, and we are going to add one watermark here on background. But first, we'll see quick demo on this one. So this is my report. So whenever report loaded, so my watermark should be displayed like this. So I'm getting this data from the database, and I'm binding into RDLC report. And I am displaying in report viewer where user can export this to Excel, PDF, and Word. So in previous video, we have discussed about how to bind the data to RDLC report. Okay, please watch my previous video for this. And on top description, it is provided, and my video description also it is. We'll see the implementation steps for this. So I used Microsoft Visual Studio for ASP.NET and C Sharp, and I used Microsoft SQL Server to get the data from. Data. These are all the implementation steps. I'll suggest to watch my previous video on RDLC report because in previous video we have discussed how to get the data from database and how to buy the link to RDLC reports. Okay, then we have to create a watermark image to add as background and finally you have to add the image as RDLC report background. That's it. It's very simple. So I'll show it in the example. So this is our previous example. We are going to continue it with this one. So first what we have to do is we have to create a watermark for this whatever you want to text you can add into your background watermark okay for that i'm using ms paint for this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add one text here whatever you want you can add here i'm keeping as my channel name select all text and give one light color for this adjust this size I'm keeping in center of so now save this as image I'm saving as jpg so this is my watermark name I'm providing for this file I'll close this now what we have to do is, this is our RDLC report. For background, we have to set that watermark. For that, what you have to do is, right click on the report, click on body properties. So you have to select the image source here. I want to embed this. Click on import. So we created one watermark. Click on OK. That's it. Now it will be added to your report. Build the application. There is no error. Run the application now. See, our watermark is displaying here. So like this, simple, you can prepare your watermark, whatever you want, and you can add it here. So we will try to export Excel, and we will see the watermark in Excel also. So we exported to Excel, and it is showing whatever we expected. Okay, code will go. Even if you delete data also, you can't remove the watermark. See. We'll export to PDF and we'll see. Open. So in PDF also it is showing perfectly. Okay. So like this you can add simple watermark to your report. Okay. So what we did is so what we did is first we have to create one watermark image for that whatever you want you can add the text and you have to save it as image then you have to select your report and right click on the report select your report properties body properties then you have to select the image so that's it so your watermark will be added to your report so that's it for today thanks for watching my video